I'm Arthur Parsons, I'm design director and one of the co-founders of 1010 Games, uh, a new video game developer uh, here in Warrington. Sort of middle of last year we decided to start a new venture and that was where 1010 Games sort of was born. For about the last four years I've been aware of Priestley College um, and you know the, the course there and the students and, and the sort of level of work. Hi, I'm Harry Foster, um, we're here at 1010 Games and I'm a former student at Priestley College. So uh, I picked Priestley College because uh, it was the only it was the only college I could find that offered a game design course and I've always wanted to do game design and it was a big passion of mine. So I was introduced, um, my, my tutor introduced me to Arthur at a WA Games event um, and got to know they needed an intern and I put myself forward for it and there, now here I am. And when I first met Harry, I was, I was impressed by the quality of his work straight off the bat, but I was also impressed with his personality because he came in and he, he, he was far more mature than the 18 years that, that he obviously has, has lived. And that is so vital for the people he's working with. You know, if you think he's working with people that have been in the industry 15, 20, 25 years, but his ideas are just as important as everyone else's. And it's how he sort of expresses those, how he sort of interacts with those people. So Priestley taught me organisation and teamwork are essential for working in the workplace. You've got to know how to work with people as well as being organised in your own tasks and it's helped me a lot. At Priestley, uh, the student-teacher interaction was really nice. Um, I was always felt open to feedback. They were always giving me feedback. We got to learn AI and level design, uh, materials, modelling, all, all of it packaged into one game. We got to combine all the skills we'd learned from that year into one package. When I was looking at the work, I was, I was blown away with the quality of it. You know, I, I do an awful lot of work with universities and there wasn't sort of like too much of a difference between the quality of the second year work at Priestley and what I was seeing from like third year university students. So, you know, that to me um, sort of like made me start thinking about why would some of these students, you know, the, the ones that are sort of like really pushing, you know, the quality bar, why would they go to university? Surely there's got to be a way of, of getting those students into industry. So I work with other people in the studio. Um, they work on features and I work on implementing them with them um, and making sure everything runs smoothly. And we're currently working on a Funko game, but the title's classified, it's not released yet, so I can't say anything about that. So the first ever game I made was, uh, was when I was eight. I was really young, but it was just like a cube that jumped from platform to platform. Um, and I remember being really proud of it at the time, but <laughs> looking back on it, probably could have been better. My parents used to get me, tell me to get off my computer all the time when I was younger, but now uh, they regret doing it because I'm, I'm getting paid. So uh, that's a nice feeling. There's a great quality of student. You'll find a lot of them will, will go on to university, which is fantastic, but there are always one or two students that can probably make it in industry. Um, so for, for us here at 1010, we wanted to open the door to that by offering internships. So, you know, offering up to a year's paid internship where those students can come, they can experience a studio for the first time, they can see if, if it's, you know, what they want to do, but also they can kind of see how their skills can, can directly go into um, industry. So at 1010 Games, our hope is that the partnership with Priestley sort of blossoms over time because we're ready to take people in. We're ready to, to bring people in and mentor them and teach them and, and help them, in not, not just to come and work for us, but help them get into the industry. There is a huge skills gap in the video game industry and there's actually a bit of a gulf between education and industry. And I see internships and apprenticeships as, as sort of bridging that gap.